Welcome to May. I'm standing in our main hallway, which is the hallway that leads to our purple gym. And I wanted to show you this mural, New Beginnings. We put this together because quite frankly, it is a new beginning for us after spring break to have so many of our students and staff back in the building. It's been wonderful. But we also knew that it could be um, anxiety provoking. And so this was a way for us to express some positive emotion and uh, just a, a symbol for growth in all that we expect for our future. And I just have to say, it's been a fantastic beginning since spring break. Our students have been wonderful in following our safety guidelines, and I just continue to be impressed by them every day. Our students have adapted well to all of the challenges in learning in the last year, and I just want to have a special shout out to our seniors who have either been named as um, on our distinguished honors or our high honor roll. We have uh, 39 distinguished and 100 um, high honor roll students. This is an achievement in any time, but given the circumstances that these students had to learn under over the last year, I think it's just especially noteworthy. So congratulations to those seniors. Congratulations to our girls volleyball team. They are conference champions. Again, this is the third time in four years, so they are becoming quite the dynasty. Our summer sports have already started, and I wish them the best of luck in their seasons as well. As we wrap up the school year, I just wanted to highlight a few things. Um, earlier this fall, I started a podcast and I just in interviewed three students, uh, Emma Cho, Gwen Caston, and Claire Gorey, and they talked about Empowerment Club. And I previously, I had Quentin Mills and Grace McTeague on, so I encourage you to check out the podcast because that was a lot of fun. Um, I also wanted to draw attention to Parents Club, which will be meeting um, May 12th with Courtney DeMent, the new principal. And we encourage all of our incoming parents to come as well as our current parents. And I'll fill you in on all of the last minute things that are happening in May here at Donners Grove North. Of course, we've got a lot of senior events to look forward to. We have communicated that information out to our senior students and to our families. And all of that information is on our website as well. Regarding final exams, I know some people are starting to have some questions about that. Many of our teachers will not be giving final exams this year. There is no final exam schedule. The last day of school is May 21st. However, there will be some classes where final exams will be given during our regular schedule. So students should just talk with their teachers and make sure that they understand whether or not there will be a final exam in that class. We're also starting to think about what our school day will look like and what our learning environment will look like next year. And of course, we don't know exactly, but we have always appreciated getting feedback from you as we plan. So please take a few minutes to complete the survey so that we have that information and we can use that along with the health guidelines to plan for the fall. And speaking of the fall, there are a few staff members who will not be returning because they are retiring. So Mr. Steve Ruffalo is one of those teachers. He's a science teacher and has been um, instrumental in making sure that we are a good green school and we are going to miss him very much. And as I think most of you know, I also will be retiring at um, the end of June. And I just wanna take this moment to say um, thank you so much for your support over the last five years. Um, this is an incredible community to work in. I, I've been very lucky to be the principal of Downers Grove North High School, and I wish you all continued success.